Yo, CFC for this blue back from another video, and this is my Chelsea vs Liverpool player rating video for the FCO final. Which Chelsea lost 6 5 on penalties. And start off with Edward Mendy. Edward Mendy, <sighs> so happy to have you. Such an excellent performance from you, and you were so wrong, man. man. I think he was man of match today. 10 out of 10 performance from you. There's no great saves, especially that save from Mane in um, the FA Cup, I mean the penalty shootout. The save against Luis Diaz in the opening 10-15 minutes of the game. Honestly, it's such, so, so great. I couldn't ask anything more from you, if I'm honest with you. Um, so yeah, 10 out of 10 for you, Edward Mendy, you're my man of the match. Right centre back, Trevor Chalobah. Decent performance. Um, you should have um you um no you should have um but basically you look shaky in the first 10 15 minutes but as the game went on you grew into the match and looked more solid as the game went on so my rating for you i'm going to give you a give you a seven then Thiago Silva solid performance no boys can see the clean sheet my rating for you i'm gonna give you a seven Antonio Rudiger um I may give you a seven as well because it was, wasn't like it was a solid performance. Liverpool couldn't score goals, and that's obviously down to Emerson Charles, but down to defense being as solid as they were. So, yeah, man, give all three of you guys seven. Left wing back Marcus Alonso. I believe you had a great game. You hit the bar from um, a free kick. You could have scored, but the shot went wide. But for me, the big thing for me today was the fact that Salah and Joe came up against you and wasn't on, couldn't do much, couldn't get in behind that much. And you would allow them any inch of space. It was a top quality performance from you in the FA Cup final. And for that, my rating for you, I'm going to give you a 7.5. Very, very solid performance. Man. Right wing back, Reese James. Not really much I can say. Um, like I said, um, Winning the ball back, getting stuck in, trying to put crosses in the box, switching play. Um, it was a great performance, even when I'm seeing you do runs, but obviously no one finds you as well. It's jarring when that happens, but you had a very solid performance in my rating for you today. I'm going to give you an 8. Then we have um, our midfielders, Kovacic, solid, stuck in performance, winning tackles, winning tackles, bro. Counter pressing, attacking, um, solid performance from you. My rating for you today, I'm going to give you a seven. Jorginho, great performance from you. Honestly, great performance. Um, same thing with Brian, like Kovacic, winning the ball back, getting stuck in, showing the enthusiasm and the energy and determination to try and win the FA Cup. I can't afford the energy that you put into this game. You, your heart and desire was, was in the match. And for that, I'm going to give you a 7.5. Um, our attackers now, Christian Pulisic. You should have done way more, bro. You should have done way more. Honestly, three chances that you should have buried. At least one of them. Especially the first one. You dragged it out of the post, bro. You should have scored. You should have scored. You know, my guy as well. I thought he was going to score today. But it just wasn't meant to be. Even the decision maker when they're trying to pass it through to Marcus Alonso, bro. You should have done better, man. Like, do it earlier or pass it through to Lukaku or something. Like, just do the better decision. But decision making was off. And it wasn't a great game from you, if I'm honest with you. It wasn't. I was surprised that you stayed on the pitch as long as you did as well. But for that, my rating for you, I'm going to have to give you, um, I'm have to give you a six. And then you have Mason Mount, solid performance. Other than you missing the penalty, there's not really that much I can say to be negative. Um, you say um, there's a lot of times where you wanted to get put put through, but people didn't find you. Um, linking up, link up play, everything was there, man. Um, but this is what it is. My brain for you, Mason Mount. I'm gonna give you a. I'm gonna give you a. A 7.5 and then we have um, Romelu Lukaku who didn't have a lot of service he tried to create a lot 
he did get one chance that he should have scored, but it went wide over the bar. Should have done better, but you couldn't get a lot. You didn't have a lot of chances. So it is what it is. My rating for you, I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you um a six point five. Then we have our substitutes. Says us the equator. Man came on. Um, missed the penalty. That said, in terms of the defensive performance, it was defensively well with Liverpool weren't doing too much in the second half of extra time. Um, in the extra time, much second half of extra time, but not really much going on. I mean, if you say you guys to quit, I'm going to give you a five. Then we have N'Golo Kante. Man came on. We're showing glimpses of how great he is. Winning the ball back, counter pressing. Getting stuck in, man try to run away from you, man just won the ball back. I told you so we were thinking that he's gonna foul him, but just won the ball back. The energy can't fall or anything like that. So my rating for you and Goro, I'm gonna give you a seven. And then we have um Ruben off the cheek and it must feel very bad for you, Ruben, because you got brought on, then got taken off simply because you're gonna go to penalties and Thomas Yuko says or oh, Preferring Ross Barkley to be on to take a penalty because you don't have a great history of penalties and I hear that but I'd rather you but I'd rather you just stay on because you came on and you only played ten or fifteen minutes, honestly. Um yeah, that was just was the case, but my rating for you, I'm not gonna give you a rating because you weren't on the pitch long enough, I'm just gonna be honest. But then we also have um Hakim Ziyech who came on. Um you should have won a penalty, in my opinion, but as referees go, they don't like to give Chelsea penalties when they are penalties, especially in the FA Cup final or at Wembley just in general. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I mean, for you, see, yes, you had a good game when you came on, so I'm going to give you a 6.5. And um, and then we have Ross Barkley, this guy came on. He didn't do anything. Like, he came on to take penalties and he didn't even take a penalty. So, yeah, man, it was, I'm going to give you a rating either. And then we have um Sakin Ziyech, Kante, Cesar Tukwero, Ruben of Chiwa Sparkly, those are all of our subs. So now we're going to go on to um, Thomas Huko, TT. Um, he part of the best team possible to get the results. We should have um we should have finished our chances, but we could have. And that's, our, that's been our story all season or ever since you've come to the club. So is what it is, I can't fault you, so my rating for you today, I'm going to give you an 8, it was a solid, solid team performance, solid lineup that you bring out, considering the subs, I mean, considering the injuries that we've had, so I'm going to give you an 8, unfortunately we can't win the FA Cup final, it's number L, three years in a row, but we'll be back stronger than ever, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger, and we are Chelsea, we will be back because we are winners, so Please leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. It's the end of my play range video for the Chelsea Liverpool FA Cup Final. I'll be back with more videos. And as always, up the Chels. Come on Chelsea. Come on Chelsea. Champions of the world. Champions of the world. Um, CFC with this blue. And I'm out. Peace.